It's time for sports and my favorite person, Muftal, joins me with a big update. Uh, Muftal, why is Chris Hutton behind us? He was at the Jubilee House to meet the, the father of the land. I see. We understand he's gotten the blessings of the father of the land to become the next head coach of the Black Stars. Uh-huh. But the FHU have also reached an agreement with Otoado to become the coach of the Black Stars. I see. So that's where we are at the moment. The FA, led by its president, Keto Krip, who were in Germany, uh -huh. as we mentioned earlier. They met uh, Otoado. They, they've got an approval from Borussia Dortmund to, to, uh, to have him coach the Black Stars in the interim. Uh -huh. They've not reached any long-term agreement with him. It's, uh, it's in the interim for him to handle the last two matches of the World Cup qualifiers against Nigeria. That's what we understand. That's what we're sources have told us. What we also know is that there's the likelihood that there'll be a, a meeting on Friday with the gentleman who brought down Chris Hutton so that they could... Who is that gentleman? They call him the Prime Minister. I don't know if, uh, if he's actually Prime Minister. Is this Gabby Ochadako? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> but they call him the Prime Minister. They call him the Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, that's, okay. That's, that's how oh, they call okay. Him. That's what, okay. He, he's been trying to get Chris Hutton the job for the last seven years. And, uh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. He actually believes that this is the time for them to get him. I understand uh, the name of Steve Apia came up during the conversations at the, at the Jubilee House yesterday, but we are waiting to get confirmation from the Ghana Football Association, who are yet to meet Chris Hilton, but they are expected to meet him before he departs the country on Sunday back to the UK. So there's going to be a meeting with the Prime Minister on Friday. Uh, when Kurt Tonebafo and Behar Lepez touches down in Ghana, Kurt will be going to meet him one on one for them to iron out whatever the differences are. It's, you know, the media has been quite volatile in the recent times in relation to the coach of the Black Stars. What we can say on authority is that from the angle of government, mm -hmm. there's no official position. Okay. But individuals within government, are, like I've always said, have got interest in who becomes interest the head coach people. of the Black yeah. Stars. So, so that's, that's what is going to happen. But this is the choice of the FA, and Ibrahim Tanko is the assistant coach. Should the FA touch down and make an announcement? Well, what, what about Chris Hutton? Who's the assistant coach? Chris Hutton, if the FA have not accepted him. So there, there's a policy at the FA that says that when they hire a coach, uh -huh. be it an expatriate or someone who is an indigent, what they do is that they get you the assistant coaches. Okay. So until the FA officially engages someone uh, like Chris Hilton. But what we were okay, actually okay, made to okay. understand was that Chris Hilton actually wants to come with his backroom staff, yeah. including his performance coaches and all that. So that's what we know for now. All right. That's what we know for now. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Muftal, Thanks for, for that me. big update. <laughs> and that's how we end Joy News Desk. For more news, you can log on to myjoyonline.com. My name is Mapita CBD. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.